1907, 1908, Picasso and his friends in Montmartre were developing what became Cubism, and this really burst onto the art world. Picasso's masterpiece from this period is considered to be Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, which was a shocking painting inspired by a bordello in Spain, but also the faces of the women don't look exactly like faces of women, but they're taken from masks. Picasso was also looking at a lot of art out of Africa, art that was non-European and that had a huge influence on Cubism. It was also the idea of kind of summoning the powers of art. You still see these African masks that you can also see in the Menil collection, and they have incredible, uh, the Spanish word is duende, really. They have real spirit. And Picasso wanted this in his art, as did Stravinsky in his music. And the musical work that's clearly the one that corresponds the most closely to this movement is the Rite of Spring. <laughs> which also harkens back to this idea of ritual. It's savage, it's aggressive. Rhythm and angles is what we hear more than, say, lyricism or curved lines, if you make that kind of parallel. And so it's really exciting. We do the two piano version of the Rite of Spring, which in a lot of ways is like a black and white version. And there are also drawings in the exhibit that are Picasso's sketches for this painting. <laughs> 